Okay, so today we're going to look a little bit at something called greatest common factor. Sometimes it's called GCF. That will be how it's referenced. So we're going to break down first what that is and then show one method or way to figure it out. Um, so to break that down, we'll think a little bit. Greatest is in math terms, that's always like the largest value. Uh, I'm going to go to over to factor. Factor is our whole, it's a whole number that you could divide a target number evenly by. Usually we think about factors as like factor pairs, so like the two numbers that would go into that. So for example, number 10 has two of the factors of the number 10 would be 1 and 10, uh, because 1 times 10 equals 10. And we can divide 10 by both 1 and 10, also 2 and 5. So 2 times 5 is 10, 10 can be evenly divided by 2 and 5. So those are just factors, things you can divide, whole numbers you can divide by. And then finally, common, when we're talking about math, we're saying that's the same. So if we're finding the greatest common factor for a set of two numbers, we would be looking for the largest whole number you could divide a target number evenly by that is the same as another number. Okay, And so we'll look at an example of this right here. So our first method is going to be using by listing factors. And we've got a set of steps over here that we're going to be using to do that. So let's say you had the numbers 18, let's say you did numbers 18 and 24, and you were asked, what is the greatest common factor? That's the largest number that is a factor of both of those. Now, if you know your times tables really well, um, it's going to be a little bit easier for you. Um, but we're going to follow these steps right here. So if we look over here at step number one, we're going to be listing all the factors for each number. And I have a hint, and my hint right here has to do with starting with 1 and its factor pair, continue with 2 and its factor pair, and so on until you get a repeat number. The biggest mistake people make when they're listing factors is they miss one or they forget one. So, for example, if I have the number 18, I could say, well, 1 and 18, that's a pair when multiplied together against 18. We can divide those both by um, into 18. And then we would go 2 and 9, because 2 times 9 equals 18, and we can use 3, we can divide 18 by 3, that would be 3 and 6. 4, we cannot divide it by 4, 4 is not a factor of 18, so I'm going to go to the next one. 5, cannot divide by, and then 6, so I came back to a number that was already in my list. That means that I have listed every single factor for the number 18. If I was doing the same thing for the number 24, I'm just going to list the factor pairs, 1 and 24. Can I divide by 2? Yes, it's an even number, so we could have 2 and 12. 3, yes, we could do 3 and 8. 4, we could do 4 and 6. 5, you cannot divide by the number 5. And then 6, we already have in our list. So we have it listed all of the factors for the number 24 and 18. So we are done with step number 1. We're going to move on to step number 2 over here. Rewrite the factors in order from least to greatest. Um, I'm going to recommend that because that just helps us to kind of make sure that we actually get the greatest common factor, especially if you have long lists of numbers. So I'm going to take the number 18 and I'm going to rewrite the factors in order from least to greatest. So I have 1, 2, 3, and I like to kind of cross them out as I go. 1, 2, and 3 are finished. Then going backwards, we have 6, 9, and 18. Okay, and I kind of get them cross. I like to cross them out. That just means I have used every one. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the number 24. We've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. And again, so I've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 are done. And then we've got 6, 12, 24, and those are all of our factors. And so now we're going to move on to step number 3. Uh, which is over here, the identify the greatest factor that the two lists have in common. And so we're just going to look at these two lists. And we might notice that, for example, they both have a 3, but that's not the greatest number they both have. The greatest number that is in both lists right here is going to be the 6. That means that your GCF, or your greatest common factor, is going to be the number 6. That would be your answer for that problem. We'll do one more example. Real quick, let's say I had the numbers, we'll say 36 and 48. I'm going to follow those steps. So I'm going to start by listing all of the factors for 36, starting with 1 and 36. It's a factor pair. Can I divide by 2? Yes, I can. So 2 and 18. 
Can I divide by 3? Yes, 3 and 12. 4, yes, we could do 4 and 9. 5, we can't divide by. 6, we can divide by. That would be 6 times 6. I only need to write down the number once. Um, and then 7, we can't divide by. 8, we can't divide by. And then 9, we already have on our list. So that means we've covered every single one. Then we'll move on to our next number. We have 48. So we could do 1 and 48. Can I divide by 2? It's even, yes. 2 and 24. And if you need to use a calculator to figure some of these out, that's totally fine. You could try dividing by 3. 3 you can. 3 and 16. 4 and 12. 5 we can't divide by. 6 we can. We can get 6 and 8. 7 we can't divide by. And 8 is already in our list. So again, by going in that order, we've covered every single factor pair. Then we're going to write our numbers in order from least to greatest. So 36, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. I'm kind of crossing them out as I go. And then keep going. We've got 9, 12, 18, and 36. Then for the number 48, we're going to list them in order from least to greatest. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. I got all those written down. Continuing on, we have 12, 16, 24, and 48. Then I'm going to cross those out. 12, 16, 24, 48. All right, I'm going to look in my two lists. What is the greatest number that they have in common, the GCF? And we will see that it will be the number 12. 12 is in both of those, right, right next to each other. So then I would just write here our GCF equals 12, and we have solved that. So that's the way we can figure out the greatest common factor using the listing method.